Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing this gorgeous day? Last video of 2019. What? You guys, this year has flown by. Flittered, flown, hovered away. And um, I'm a little fucking hype. But anyways, you guys, today's video is going to be a fun one. I want to do a addressing rumors video. Basically, it's almost like an assumptions video, but based off of rumors that have been circulating, floating around about me. You know, it's the end of the year. I figured it'd be kind of fun to do a video like this. Also, today's video, I want to say, really quickly thank you so much to tula tula skincare for partnering with me in today's video it is a sponsored video with tula i <laughs> love this new skincare brand this cleansing oil I bow to you. I will be using this at the end of the video. I'll show a little video of me taking out my makeup. But I want to use a couple of their products here because honestly, it's a great brand. All the products are made with superfoods and probiotics. It is a clean brand. It is cruelty free. It never tests on animals. It is just a gorgeous new brand. And I really, 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 really enjoy them. And I love their teal packaging. Look at their fucking teal. Ah! <laughs> so thank you to Tula. I'll be using more of the products throughout the video. You know, going into 2020, I wanted to just kind of do a video here addressing some rumors that have floated around about me for a while. I actually asked you guys on Instagram to submit rumors you guys have heard about me through the grapevine to address, and I got a couple of them screenshotted right here to address. So I thought that's what today's video would be, and we will go the fuck in, and honestly, I'll say whether the rumor is true, whether the rumor is false. So as always, if you guys don't like this video, if you guys don't like me, please don't fucking watch it. You know the drill with that. But if you guys do like this video, please go give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and if you're new, what's up, man? Anyway, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Ooh, going into 2020. How crazy. <sighs> Let's get this started. <laughs> So first things first, I'm gonna go in with the Tula Skincare 24 7 Moisture Hydrating Day and Night Cream. I have been loving this. I don't know if you guys can see that it's like halfway gone. It's just, ah, it smells so good. It smells so, so freaking good. Super foods, super food meat. I haven't moisturized or anything today. I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on my skin. Oh my God, you guys, this, this feels very good. Ooh. Mm so hydrating you can use this day or night it's just it's nice and it's not like too heavy but it's not too light either it's just a good hydrating moisturizer ah! Ah! what do we do first let's start off light let's start off light <laughs> i'm actually not going to be saying the people's names in this because i actually got a lot of people saying like hey i want to ask you this but don't say my name so i'm not going to be saying anyone's names but the first one says that you pretend to be gay well <laughs> You guys would actually be shocked with the amount of people that ask me this, ask me if I'm actually gay or if I'm bi or if I'm questioning or if I'm straight in some way. And it's so shocking to me. I don't know if they're trolling me or just kidding. I really don't know, but I promise you on my life, I promise you that, that I am fully gay. I'm actually a gold star gay. I've never hooked up with a woman ever. I've made out with girls, of course. You know, I've made out with girls. I've touched boobies, but for fun. Not for real, not like a, mm, it's more like a, ooh. But yeah, I'm definitely 100% gay. There's no inkling and there's no thing in my body that says that there is not a gayness in here. It is all queer. In this world, it is queer AF rainbows spewing out of my asshole. Mm. Spewing. So for under eyes, we're gonna go in with the Tula Skincare Rose Glow and Get It Cooling and Brightening Eye Balm. I love to use this obviously under my eye and it helps de-puff and bright. Can you guys see like, it like brightens your under eye as well. Not only does it help cool, but it bright. Oh, do you see that? It actually doubles as a like highlighter. You can use it as a highlighter as well. I just really, really like this. I've been using this every single morning just to help me de-puff. It actually has hydrating rose water and rose hip oil, which is so, so, so good for the skin. And over time, it actually helps with the appearance of your skin in general. So bitch, you know we live for her. Like it actually like, can like literally act as a highlighter as well. Like almost like a glowy, dewy highlighter. Oh, I die. This pimple right there needs to die as well, sweetie. By the way, you guys, I do actually have a code with Tula. I'm gonna leave it here on the screen right here. You guys can use that code and save 15% off all Tula products if you guys are interested in checking it out. And I've noticed that this is really, really good for all skin types. Ooh, the perfect girl on the go product, you guys. Oh, <laughs> helps with the appearance of darkness underneath the eyes because it's so brightening. Mm. I love you. Okay. Next, the Face Filter and Blurring Moisturizer Primer. We're gonna be using this product as well to prime for our makeup, of course. And I love this product because it's so good at neutralizing redness. This is like one of those really, really, really good all-in-one encompassing primers. You can see it almost like it's changing a little bit of the color of my skin to help neutralize everywhere. It has a little bit of a tint to it, but then it goes away. It feels so good. It actually gives you like a really nice blurring effect. I feel like with the primer and the rose glow, it gives me such a hydrating base to go in with makeup. You can use literally any makeup on top of this. And baby, she's gonna be hydrated 
and looking so snatched. We have a filter without a filter. Filter me. I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you guys can see it's almost like a lit from within kind of glow on the skin. It kind of takes away that blotchiness of the skin. It just kind of evens me out. It's another layer of hydration. I just really, 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 really like this primer a lot as well as the rose glow underneath the eyes. Oh, she's sickening. What do you guys think? I just think that my base looks beautiful right now. Like so hydrated, so smooth, filtered, flawless. Gorga. The next rumor is that I'm dating or hooking up with James Charles. So, <sighs> ah! I would say of all the rumors I've gotten, I would say about 20% of them asked if I was hooking up or fucking or with in some way, shape or form, James Charles. I'm shocked. I don't know what prompted the idea that me and James were anything more than just friends. I can assure you guys that me and James are not fucking. We are not dating, we are not together, we are not any item, any, any <laughs> in any way, shape or form, we are not together. We are friends, we have not hooked up. We're just not each other's type. It's so funny though, because me and James, we have, we've had such a like crazy relationship in our past like i cannot remember exactly what it was but he completely shaded me on twitter before we really knew each other or anything like that and i was like this little cocksucker <laughs> and i didn't like him for a long time because of it and i remember like we kind of squashed our beef and he was he apologized and he was like yo i'm so sorry like that's you know not what i think of you and i i was just a dumb kid who was in a not great place and I forgave him. And you know, now we're at such a cool spot and I love hanging out with James and we do see each other pretty often actually, more often than we used to. And it makes me really happy that we kind of squash our beef and that we're, that we're friends. And I would say like we're actually pretty close too. Like we talk pretty often. I'm just happy that we've got to be at the spot that we are right now with our relationship. And that does not include fucking. Why is my face being laid so well right now because of the primer? The rose hip, baby, underneath the eyes, she's coming in clutch. And that primer, come on, Tula, you guys do not play around. Okay, next rumor. I heard you and friend desk guy hooked up. Ooh, me and friend desk guy. Oh my God, you guys, friend desk guy from the gym. Holy fuck. I feel like I have not closed you guys out on the store and you guys deserve to be closed out. So, <clears throat> one day, me and friend desk guy were like, let's go to a bar and just hang out and just grab drinks and just relax. I don't drink, but I grabbed a Sprite. Let's just go hang out, we'll do our thing. We'll just see what things go. And I was like, for sure, let's do it. We did, and we went back to his place and we, <sighs> you know what? I should not be talking about this. I'm a virgin. I should not be talking about this. We colored, okay, we colored, we colored very nicely. <laughs> The sexual tension that we had, bitch, it was so real. Woo. And now like when I see him at the gym, I'm like, what's up, bitch? Like, how are you? And like, we're homies. But isn't that such gay culture? It's like to like hook up with you and then become friends after. Like that's such gay culture, I feel. Like we're not a thing. We're not like an item. We're not dating or anything like that, but we definitely have colored. We colored, you guys. We fucking finally colored. I know you guys are probably screaming inside. If that's not the epitome of manifesting, I don't know what is. I truly don't know what is. Next rumor, I heard that you like to eat ass. <gasps> oh my God. Isn't that a little harsh for a rumor? Jesus Christ. That is true. That is a true rumor. I will admit that rumor is absolutely correct. I do like to eat a good little ass girl. And you know what? What of it? What of it? Okay, if it's fun and it's fresh and it's clean, let's fucking do it, man. I love it. No, but seriously, I do like to eat some ass. Any hole is a goal. Any hole is a goal, you know? And um, <laughs> if you get that reference, I love you. Next rumor. I heard your hair was insured for $10,000. <gasps> oh my God. That is true. And I do car commercials in Japan. <laughs> you guys are fucking funny. Next one is you and Tati Westbrook are now on good terms. I'm excited to answer this. So actually this is true. This is a true rumor. This is absolutely the truth. Me and Tati are on good terms now and I'm so happy about that. You know, 2019 was a year of self-reflection and I'm very proud to be at the spot I'm at now with who I am and I really feel like after last year's drama that I went through, it changed me in a, the positive, in a good way. And I feel like when something bad happens to you, either you can let it destroy you 
or you can find the silver lining and use it to make you stronger. And I really do feel like that's what happened to me. And part of that last year was, you know, being in drama with Tati as well. Me and her had our own fallout in our own way. And you know, at the time, I feel like I was so in my own world that I couldn't really see anything else other than what was going on in my own world. And I think nowadays, I'm so much more open and receptive and just empathetic in different ways. And I feel like it's just that comes with growth and maturity as you get older. And I really do feel like this year I've grown a lot. And so when Tati sent me over her palette from, from Tati Beauty, she sent me this note on it and like all the past like anguish or like sadness or anything I felt towards her, it, it went away. The note was so sweet and it was so kind and it was so caring. And it made me really feel like she was watching me and like, not in like a creepy way, in like a way of like, she knew what I was going through and that she felt it and she felt a change in me in different ways. And it made me feel so good. Me and her have since then, we talked and I texted her after I got my note and I was so grateful. And I'm not saying we're best friends or anything, you know, that's not what it is, but I truly do respect her and I respect her hustle and what a hardworking woman she is and just how how she's built this amazing, amazing career for herself. You know, I really respect it so much and now we're good and I'm really, really proud to say that, that we're, we're on good terms and it makes me really happy to say. Let me do a little blush real quick. Let's go and highlight real quick. You guys, did you guys know that my Greek Goddess palette, my highlighting palette, is actually still available in some Morphe stores. Bitch, I saw it there the other day and I almost screamed. I'm like, you can't find this shit anywhere other than a Morphe store since it was so limited edition. Woo! I was gagging. Gagging. Okay guys, so anyway, that's next one. The next rumor is that you are not as hands-on when it comes to your brand as you say you are. So this rumor is actually false. <laughs> oh, I'm very involved with my brand. Sometimes a little too crazy and too intense about it because I'm a psychopath when it comes to my brand. I'm the owner of it. I funded it. It is my baby. I love creating product. I love it. I feel like that's what I was put on this earth to do was create fun product and you know make people happy when it comes to makeup. And that's truly what I feel and that's what I feel with my brand. Like I love coming out with products with my brand. There's something about creating product for people that appreciate it that fills your heart with joy and like it makes me just feel so good i can't even describe it i cannot even describe it but yes i am very involved with my own brand you know the team is so small it's me my mom my dad our like design person our warehouse person and that's it you know and that's why i am not able to come out with these crazy skews and come out with these humongous massive collections and come out with them so often throughout the years i can't do it because my team is too small and I get so busy too with being Manny MUA. Like I still have to work. I can't just be the CEO of Lunar Beauty all the time. I have to do more things than just that. I have to wear multiple hats in my life. And it's really, really, really hard just to balance it all. I honestly struggle a lot. Like I really, really, really struggle. And I've, I've gone to bed in tears over it and just, cause I only wanna do things that I love doing. And that includes having a brand. <laughs> False rumor. So this rumor is that you've been involved sexually with another influencer. This is a false rumor actually. I've never hooked up with or been sexually involved with a fellow influencer ever. No, I've never done that. I actually got asked that a lot. A lot of people are asking me about like hooking up with, if I've ever hooked up with like old friends of mine and stuff like that. The answer is no. Should I? <laughs> Fuck. The closest I feel like I've ever been to hooking up with another influencer was when me and Kyle Krieger, we did our chapstick challenge together and we kissed. I mean, obviously we were like doing it for the video and like we never like did anything more than that. But I feel like that was the closest I've ever been to doing anything like sexual with another influencer because it was like we were kissing. Who could you guys see me dating influencer wise? Oh my gosh, I'm so curious about this. I wanna know. Who could you guys see me with? So this rumor states, you and Gabriel Zamora are friends again. This was asked a lot. This was something that I brought up many, many, many a times. Yes, actually me and Gabriel are friends again. <laughs> I know, I'm sure a lot of you guys are watching this like, what the fuck you guys are? What, like shook? But yes, no, me and Gabriel, we reconnected actually this year and I'm so happy about it. I would see Gabriel at events and I would be so stressed and freaked out and honestly, I would just wanna go up to him and hug him and just say hi and tell him that I've missed him. And I know obviously after last year, like we've been through so much, even through all of that, I couldn't help but miss him because I still cared for him. We talked, we did our own thing. I'm not gonna tell anything personal obviously, but I'm very proud to say that me and him are friends again. When we hang out or when we talk or whatever, it's not like we're posting it online for everyone to see. That's not what it is. And I think that's another big thing that I learned from last year 
is that you don't need to show off your relationships with people online to prove that it's real. I think that that was a big turning point for me was like, I don't need to show off all my friendships with everyone online all the time. And I always thought I kind of did because I was a social media influencer and that's what I did for my full life. You know, it is part of my career and I, you know, I love what I do, but I don't need to put everything out there to know that it's real. In this thing, people asked me if I was friends with Laura still. And I was like, yeah, of course I'm still friends with Laura. I mean, her best friends, I see her all the time, but I don't show it all the time. She's my real life best friend. I don't need to scream from the rooftops to know that. Okay, what is our next rumor to address? You got a butt implant. <laughs> Ooh, okay, so this rumor is false. I did not get a butt implant. However, <clears throat> in 2014, oh my God, almost five years ago, I got a BBL. I did get a BBL. Um, and honestly, I never really talked about it um, online at all, actually. I think this is the first time I've actually been talking about it. I got a BBL and that's a Brazilian butt lift. And it's when you get lipo in a certain spot and you put some of the fat from there into you, the top of your ass or in your ass somewhere. And I did get that. The reason I got it and the reason I never really talked about it is because one, I was insecure. And that's just the God honest truth. I was a little insecure about my body. And the reason that is like, let me just tell the whole story from the beginning because I feel like it's kind of an interesting story or maybe it's interesting to me because <laughs> it happened to me. I've always had like a pretty like big ass. I've always been kind of bigger of a kid just in general. When I was in high school, I got really, really sick, really sick when I was like in the summer of my junior year, I got really, really, really sick, like really bad. Like where the hospital, like the doctors didn't know what was going on and they actually thought I had leukemia. And it was so scary for my whole family and for me, I was so terrified and I didn't know what was going on. I was sick, I was very, very sick for like two months. I was like bedridden. We ended up finding out that was hepatitis A actually, which was so crazy. <laughs> like what the fuck? Hepatitis A, you know, luckily I don't have it anymore, but um, I did have it back then. And I lost like 30 pounds in like three weeks. I looked so unhealthy. I lost a lot of my mass. And like I had stretch marks on my ass because my ass went away. Like I lost my whole ass and I just didn't like it. Anyway, you know, as you guys know, I take anxiety medication. I take it like, you know, every day. And with anxiety medication, a lot of the times you can get a buildup of fat around your love handles. And it's like a very, very like known thing. And so if you guys are ever wondering why you have like a, uh, what do they, people call it? Like a tire around the midsection. And you guys are wondering why you can't get rid of it. And if you guys are on anxiety medication, it could be a medication. <laughs> I'm not a doctor, but uh, that's what I've been told. So I, you know, I just didn't like how my body looked. So four years ago, I decided to get a BBL and put the fat back in my ass where I had fat before and take it out from my love handles where I didn't have it before because of my anxiety medication that I was on for a while. So. I ended up just doing it because I wanted to. And I don't feel bad about it in any way, shape, or form. I love it, I love my ass. I think it's fucking sickening and people live for it too. Whenever I'm hooking up, it's sickening. But I never really talked about it because I did it for me. You know, I did it for myself. I did it because I was insecure about something and I fixed it because I wanted to. You know, and you guys already know, I wanted to be a plastic surgeon. Like I live for a good surge moment. I live, I live for the fantasy, I live. If you wanna do something because you wanna do it, fucking do it. As long as you're doing it for the right reasons, you're not doing it to change because someone else is making you and you're doing it for yourself, bitch, do you 1000%, I'm all for it. You know, I did it before, it was like actually like a, a craze. <laughs> and you know, now everyone's out here getting BBLs, which I live for, of course, but I didn't do it really back then for the um, aesthetic of it as much. I did it more for insecurity reasons. You know, now I'm talking about it now because I, I don't care, I don't mind. I don't mind talking about it. Like I'm not ashamed of it in any way, shape or form. It's just a part of my history, it just what happened. And that's why the booty is there, is because I got a BBL f almost five years ago before it was uh, a thing. <laughs> ah, so funny. Okay guys, so the next question, are you a social climber? So I got asked this many a times in my DMs of the of the rumor, of the rumor meal, uh, work in that rumor magic is if I'm a social climber. So you guys, by definition, a social climber is someone who, I'm actually gonna look it up, a person who is eager to gain a higher social status. So, by definition, I think if you're a social media influencer who is trying to gain in followers, you're technically social climbing. If you're doing collabs with people, technically you're social climbing one another. It's not like you're doing it on purpose to social climb. You're doing it because you guys want to grow. And like, for example, you guys see all those TikTok stars, right? Who do collabs. That in a way is social climbing by definition because they want to help grow one another. And there's nothing wrong with that. No one sees that as social climbing, but that's technically what it is. But I think the real true, what people really wanna know is intention. What is the intention behind 
being friends with people? Like, are you using them to get ahead? Are you using them to grow your social media presence? Or are you genuinely friends with them and just helping each other out because you guys are both do the same thing? That is what I think people are trying to differentiate between. And so technically in that way, everyone does it. Not that it's bad. The social media platforms, they literally are like collab with everyone. But I think that the intention behind doing something that's where it really lies. And I can genuinely say that I've never done that. I have never in my life gotten to a friendship relationship with anyone with the intention that I'm going to use them to get ahead in my social media platforms. That has never happened. If that was the case, that would mean all my relationships with people I've had in the past were fake and they were false and they were not real. And I have had real relationships with people. And you know, we might no longer be friends or anything like that. You know, life happens and things, you know, things happen and people move on and shit like that. But that would imply that I got into a relationship for the wrong reasons, only to grow and get ahead with my career. And that wasn't the case. I can literally put my hand on the Bible. I can literally, I'll swear it from the rooftops that I've never, I can honestly say that I've never done that. I'm really happy I was able to answer that question because I feel like that's something that's always lingered over me is the whole like, you're a social climber, you're a user, you only get into relationships with people to use them. And it's not true. Okay, cool. Really glad to answer that question. What is next? Next rumor is that you're not satisfied with your body image. <sighs> Y'all be giving me some doozies up in this bitch. That is a true rumor. I'm not satisfied with where my body is right now at this point in time in my life. I'm definitely not. You know, I feel like when it comes to like a journey, right? Like a workout journey or a fitness journey or something, you're always gonna wanna strive to do more, to do better, to be better. And I think that's where I'm at right now. You know, I'm happy with the strides that I've made. Like I've never been this strong before in my whole life. I've never been this fit, I would say in my whole life, but that doesn't mean I'm super comfortable yet. I'm still embarrassed to take off my shirt in public. Like I was a bigger kid back in high school before I got sick, you know? And so I've always been kind of embarrassed. I don't know, like I always felt like I didn't fit in body-wise to the norm. And I think that that's always kind of stuck with me and I've always been insecure about it. I think it's really hard to get over that. I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate to me in that way is that you guys, maybe you guys are a little bit bigger before I've lost some weight, but you still feel like you're big. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense. I'm absolutely not satisfied. And I think that if I was satisfied, I would stop going to the gym or whatever. Like I'm so I'm happy to still be on this journey because I'm doing it to be healthier. And like I want to be healthier and be better and be physically more fit. And I'm proud of myself though. I'm not gonna lie. It's not like I'm not proud of the, the, how far I've come when it comes to like my fitness journey. Cause I am proud, you know, I'm really proud of myself. Like I, before 2017, I never worked out really. You know, I played volleyball of course. And like I worked out in that way cause I was physical, but I didn't like really like work out, go to the gym, do cardio, like all that kind of stuff. But I feel like within the last two years I have, and I think it's been so good for me. And I feel like I really needed it. The stress relief that I feel from working out is unlike anything else. I'll work out and then I'll feel better for the rest of the day. And I don't know why. I just do, like the endorphins are released and I'm like, bitch, I'm living my best life. Like I am so happy that I have that now because I never did before. And when it comes to body image, it's such a hard thing. It's so hard, especially in this world that we live in. Everyone is so gorgeous, aren't they? Everyone's so beautiful and so stunning and so fit and sickening. And I'm like, fuck, dude, I don't even compare. You know, and it's hard and it's, it's, a, it's a comparison game and like the comparison is the killer of creativity, you know? And it'll do terrible things to you if you constantly compare yourselves and I try not to, but I'm human and I will compare and I can't help it. I am working on it. It's something you just kind of have to work on. And hopefully you get to a spot in your life where you're like, you know what? I am proud of my body in this moment in time. I'll get there. Don't you guys worry about me. The next to last rumor, oh, I'm, s yeah, absolutely. Girl, that your whole smells and tastes like sriracha sauce. Oh my God. I'm actually very excited to address this one. So this rumor is, False. <laughs> so apparently after Gabriel's My Truth video talking about me, and I think this one boy did like a My Truth video about Manny hooking up with him and that I was not clean and that my asshole smelled like sriracha. <laughs> like it like smelled like sriracha, like the hot sauce, like my ass smelled like sriracha. Girl. <laughs> I, so at the time I literally was like so baffled by it. Cause I was like, who is this fucker? I literally did not understand. Like I did not even know who it was. So I never addressed it. Cause I literally didn't like give a fuck that much about it. It was just kind of like a funny, like, okay, <laughs> it's just a rumor. Like, okay, obviously it never happened. And apparently like the, I never watched the video that he created, but apparently it was like something about like, this is just like from hearsay. I've never watched it, but something about me paying him to hook up with me. 
but I, like, I was like like drunk or on drugs. He like ate my ass and it smelled like sriracha sauce and I wasn't clean, but he still did it anyway. <laughs> it was a very, very weird rumor situation. I was like, what is going on? Is this really happening? You wanna know the real gag? This bitch goes on Twitter and is like, Manny sent me a cease and desist. He's trying to silence me. Girl, I never sent a cease and desist. Are you fucking kidding? <laughs> You think my ass, my little gay ass, would spend money on my lawyers, my expensive ass lawyers, to send you a cease and desist on a little rumor that's not true? Girl, you really think you're that important. <laughs> Girl, oh child. Is it worse for you to still eat my ass even though it's smelling like sriracha? If that was real, like that would be nasty as fuck. I can't, let me tell you. If I was going to pay for a hookup, Girl, it ain't gonna be you, I'm just saying. Yeah, so that rumor is false. I'm gonna do my eyes and then I'm gonna come back to my lip and I'll be done. Okay, we are back and the brows are fit. <laughs> Let's <kidding. laughs> ah! Okay, you guys, and the last and final rumor. I heard that you've learned a lot from last year's drama. Well, <laughs> I wanted to end it on this note because honestly, I really have. I have focused so much more on real life personal connections this year than I have with my online connections and online stuff as Manny MUA. Going into 2020, I just wanna focus on what makes me truly happy and focus on the relationships I have with people in my real life and continue to stay in my own lane. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to sit down and defend myself when things happen and arise and address rumors that pop up here and there. I want to be stronger, I wanna be braver. I wanna to continue to do the best that I can for you guys and I know you guys have seen my journey this whole time. You know, I've been on YouTube for almost six years now and you guys comment on all my videos. Every single time I upload a video, you guys comment that you guys notice a change in me and that you guys notice how much more happy that I am nowadays. And I'm so happy that it reflects and it shows because I really am truly so much happier nowadays than I was before. So I just wanna say thank you guys so much for being here along the ride with me in my journey and thank you for making 2019 amazing. And I want 2020 to be even more amazing. And it will be. It absolutely will be. Also, thank you to Tula Skincare for partnering with me in today's video. You guys are absolutely amazing. I'm gonna show you guys how to take off this glam using the removing oil. You guys are gonna be shook with how amazing it is. What is up, you guys? So we're currently in the bathroom, in the baño. Anyway, you guys, so now we're gonna be using our Tula No Makeup Replenishing Cleansing Oil. Mm -mm -mm. So what I like to do is I'll just take two pumps. Oh. It's so good. I'll just use this, run it all over my face. You guys, there's something about this oil that just makes me want to scream because it's like you rinse it off with water and it doesn't give you a film. That's what I like about it so much is that there's no film left over when you use this. Like that's usually why I don't like using oil. So I'm like, oh girl, I don't want no nasty ass film left on my skin. You know what I mean? Ooh, gorgeous. Wow. Stunning, a stunning beauty. Stunning. So what I'll do now and I'll take some warm water and I'll take my little, I'll take my little halo beauty moment and I'll literally just wipe. Do you, s I need you guys to see how easy and how much it just took off my freaking face. Like, are you joking? Look at that. That's my real skin tone. Help. It comes off so, it just is so fast. It works so easy. The oil is truly, it's my favorite product that Tula does. This is how it all started. This is how my partnership with Tula started because it was this oil. Woo. Hello. It's sickening. I 10 out of 10 recommend. Use this floating coat if you want to save some coin on it. It is my current obsession. This is literally all I use to take on my makeup now. Let me just show you quick how easy it is on the eye too. Huh, what am I doing? Why, and now why did I do it again? Okay, so we're just gonna rub that. I'm just gonna lightly rub it in. Like, and it doesn't sting my eye. I love it so much. Okay, we're gonna run the wall, ta. I'm gonna wipe. <laughs> like, how is this product so good? I don't understand. It's so good. <laughs> I just wanna say I love you guys so much and I cannot wait to see what 2020 has in store for us all. I love you, have a great rest of the night or day wherever you guys are, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys, I love you. Mwah. Hey, shut up. Spaces of the tube, what?
Why aren't you coming out? Don't make fun. Don't embarrass me. That's just not our journey. It's not our path. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> it's just not gonna happen, girl. Fuck! Please no, please no. <laughs> is nothing where I want it to be. Why is nothing where I want it to be? My ass don't smell like sriracha sauce now. Oh, I love that. Yep. Oh, yep. I want a nap. I want a fucking nap, dude. <laughs>